If you've got any gay yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have but, you ever said some of my best friends are gay? No, no. In the show, there's a line which is, one of my best friends is gay, I reckon. I normally say some of my best friends are straight because most, most of them are, really. Yeah, Never yeah, really, yeah. Didn't when really. did you know you were straight? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Amelia Edwards. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. no. You know, it's an interesting yeah. question because yeah, yeah. people don't think about that. I, I find it's more that other people ask me about it. Mm -hmm. I'm just busy being what myself. What do they ask you? They often ask, when did you know you were gay? Oh, yeah, yeah that's the classic. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there was a time and a place. It was kind of gradual, I think. I don't know about for you, but for yeah. me, for me it, was, it was kind of other kids, you know, calling me a girl. Yeah. You're a girl, you're a girl. I was like, oh. I have no problem with people asking me, when did I know I was gay? Because I can't answer it. It's such a weird question. The difference is that when you're a gay kid or trans or whatever, no one really prepares for your arrival. I knew it wasn't wrong. Yeah. I knew if I announced it, I'd be immediately pop unpopular in the playground. But inside of me, yeah. I absolutely thought it was totally normal and I thought this is what's meant to be. Yeah, I think when you get to the point where it's like not a question, because in my head, it's just like simple. I'm like, you find someone, you fall in love with them. If it's a, a woman, a man, but I don't think it defines you. But in women's football, yeah. is coming out in homosexu homosexuality, is it more open? Because obviously that is a problem in men's football. Yeah, men's football. I think in the men's game it's so difficult because of like, if you think about how much stick they get from the chants and oh, stuff, yeah. just not a safe environment where they feel safe enough to kind of do that. And that's so sad. But yeah, in women's football, it's kind of, it's, it's just never an issue. Like some people have partners that are female, yeah. some are married to men. But then, obviously, there was no female role models, really, for me to look up to because, like, male football, male role models. But I'd watch, like, Beckham do a trick or Gerard do something and I'd just be practising for hours. I was literally in the, in the back lanes just with my ball all day, all night, until my mum would shout, Jill, it's time for your oh, tea. I love that. And then I'd just be back out again because I just wanted to, like, perfect this skill. I think Jill is a very kind, you know, caring person. And it's really interesting to find out more about her struggles to become a footballer. It makes you a little bit more appreciative of what journey she's been on. Like eight, nine, ten, I'd have like Beckham on the back of my shirt and it'd be all the Premiership players. And now I'll put on my own soccer camps and the girls, they have the female players on the back of the shirt, oh, Lucy Bronze. Cool. Now, football is for everybody because kids can have male players, female players. If you're a good player and you can play, there's a ball and, yeah, just enjoy it. I think for me, Bowie was the beginning of me going, oh, my God, I'm not alone. It didn't matter whether he was gay, straight or bisexual. Yeah. He was a massive role model. When I was, like, say, 16, 17, I was outrageous. Like, yeah. I was in your face full drag, I was wearing all Vivian Westwood clothes, lifting my top up, shaking it at builders. I was like, I was blown kisses. I was that Oh major. my God. There's this one time I went out as a nun. Nun George. And then when we got on the tube, there was like real nuns on the tube. And I was sitting eating a packet of cheese and onion crisps, just as a nun, with like <laughs> the most amazing makeup you've ever seen. Like, what, with real nuns around you? real nuns. Did they think you were part of their... No, they really, they knew I wasn't a oh, nun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>